Hello, the objective of this video is to learn how to solve and graph one-step inequalities. Solving one-step inequalities is almost the same as solving one-step equations. However, you, uh, you are still going to be doing opposite rate, uh, operations. So if, you're, if it was being added, you're going to subtract. If it was being multiplied, you divide. Opposite operations still hold true here. However, the exception comes when you try and multiply or divide to solve. And we're going to see that when we get to that a little later here. First, let's take a look at some addition subtraction ones. They are all exactly the same as far as solving with equations. The only difference that you're going to find is that most of the time they're going to ask you to graph it on a number line, not just solve it. So let's take a look at this one. We have x plus 1 equals is less than 7. We're going to have minus 1 for both sides. These will cancel. You get x is less than 7 minus 1 gives you 6. It's a less than symbol, which means we're going to have an open circle because there's no or equal to. It's going to be right over the 6 because that's the indicator there. Less than 6 means that I want the values that are going to be less than 6. 5 is less than 6. 4 is less than 6. So we want to go in this direction here. Does it work with the original? 4 plus 1, is that less than 7? Well, 5 is less than 7. That works. 5 plus 1, is that less than 7? Yes. 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. And we don't want to include it, so that's where we want to be. 7 plus 1 is 8. Is that less than 7? No. So we don't want to include that 7. Which it, it all works out. We've got the right graph. We've got the right answer. This is our solution. That's the graph. Look at this one. We've got x minus 3. To do the opposite of that, we're going to add 3 to both sides, just like we would with an equation. These will cancel. I'll be left with x is less than or equal to 11. All right. Now, when I go over here, I'm going to put a full circle, filled in circle. Make sure it's filled in because I have an or equal to over that 11. Less than 11. 9 and 10 are values that are less than 11, so I'm going to go in this direction here. Is 12 less than 11? No, so I don't want to go in that direction. How does it work with the original? Let's check. 10. Is 10 minus 3 less than or equal to 8? 10 minus 3 is 7. That is less than 8. 9 minus 3 is 6. Is that less than or equal to 8? Yes. 11 minus 3 is equal to 8. So we are including it. 12 minus 3 is 9. 9 is not less than or equal to 8. So 12 should not be included. Looks like we've got the right solution here, and we do. Moving on. Here we have multiplying. We need to divide to solve. So we're going to divide both sides of this equation by 2. When we do that, we're going to get x is greater than 8 divided by 2 is 4. So I put a 4 here in the middle. It's an open circle because there's no or equal to. We want the values that are greater than 4, which are the ones in that direction. 5 is greater than 4. 6 is greater than 4. So we're going to go in this direction here. Does it work with the original? Well, if I plug in 3, it shouldn't work because I'm not including it. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 is not greater than 8, so we're right. What about 5? 2 times 5 is 10. Is 10 greater than 8? Yes, so we do want to include it. So it looks like we've got the right idea. Let's see what happens with a negative here. Here, Now we've got a negative 2 times x. We're going to do negative 2x divided by negative 2. We're going to divide both sides by the negative 2 there. And we think it should work out to be x is greater than negative 4. We go to graph it. We put an open circle here. We put negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 5, negative 6. And the greater than symbol lets us believe it's going to go in that direction. And if we plug in negative 3, yeah, that works. Negative 3 is greater than negative 4. Negative 2 is greater than 
we're going to hit the whole number, the, the, the positive numbers. Positive numbers are all greater than negative. So it looks like we're good. But let's go back to the original here. When we do 2, negative 2 times negative 3. Negative 2 times negative 3 is 6. Is 6 greater than 8? <coughs> Something's wrong here. Now think about it. Up here, we went in that direction. We have the numbers that are 4 greater. But you'll notice when I divided by a negative, my middle went from positive 4 to negative 4. It went from one side of 0 to the complete other side of 0. It flipped around when we divided by the negative. So let's try these values on the other side of negative 4. Negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10. Is that greater than 8? Yes. So we actually want to go in this direction, not this one. Which means we don't have a greater than, we actually have a less than. As it turns out, whenever you divide or multiply by a negative in the process of solving, you have to flip your inequality symbol around. If it was less than, it becomes greater than. If it was greater than, it becomes less than. So whenever you divide or multiply by a negative, you have to take that inequality and flip it around. Let's take a look at this one here. This time we got x divided by negative 3, so we need to multiply by negative 3 to solve. When we do that, these cancel out, you get x. Now, since I multiply by a negative 3, I should flip this around, right? And this gives me negative 15. Negative 14, negative 13, negative 16, and negative 17. Closed filled in circle above the 15, because we have an or equal to. Less than means we're going to go in this direction. Let's check to see if that works. If I plug in, well, I want to plug in a value that is divisible by 3. I know 18 is divisible by 3, and that's further down this way. So I'm going to plug in negative 18 over negative 3, and we're going to see if that's greater than or equal to 5. Negative, by ne negative divided by negative is a positive. 18 divided by 3 is 6. Is 6 greater than or equal to 5? Yes. If I had done the same thing with 12, I would have had negative 12 divided by negative 3 would give me positive 4. Positive 4 is not greater than or equal to 5. So you've got to be careful. Whenever you're multiplying or dividing by a negative to solve, you've got to flip the inequality. Now here's the tricky part. Look at this one. You've got x divided by 4, so you need to multiply by positive 4. And that's going to give you x is less than or equal to negative 8. Now I know some of you are thinking, Mr. Funk, you're multiplying by a negative. That's not the number I'm using to solve. The number I'm using to solve is a 4, which is a positive number. I don't need to flip this if I'm multiplying by a positive number. The negative number here is not going to have any effect on the, the, the inequality symbol there. It's only the number that you used in the process of solving. This is part of the reason why I've been making you show each step and show that you're doing the same thing to each side. Because when you multiply by this positive number, you know you're not going to flip the inequality. Let's check to see if that's true. Here we have negative 8. Then we have uh, negative 7, negative 6, negative 9, negative 10. Closed circle above the negative 8 because of the or equal to sign. We're saying it's going to be less than, so we're saying it should be in this direction. And negative 9, negative 10 are less than negative 8, so it satisfies this, but does it satisfy the original? Well, again, I want to go with something that's divisible by 4. So I'm going to go back this way a little bit further to negative 12, because that is further in this direction. 
negative 12 over 4. Is that less than or equal to negative 2? Well, negative 12 over 4 is negative 3. Is negative 3 less than or equal to negative 2? Yes. So I do want to include the stuff in this direction, not the stuff in that direction. We do not flip this one around like we did up here. All right, here are four examples I have on a you-do. Pause the video, give it a try. We'll come back and take a look at these. We have a couple more after this. All right, welcome back. Let's take a look here. We're going to divide by 3. We get x is less than 3. No flipping. It wasn't divided by a negative. So we have 3, 4, 5, 2, and 1. We have an open circle over the 3. We're going to have a less than. It's going to go in this direction. Here, we divide by a negative 4. Since we're dividing by a negative, we do need to flip the inequality around. Instead of being a greater than, it's now a less than or equal to. Negative divided by negative is a positive. We get a positive 4. Put a 4 here in the middle. 5, 6, 3, 2. Close circle above the 4 because of the or equal to sign. Heading in this direction for the less than, there's our solution. Here we need to multiply by negative 5 to get rid of the negative at the same time as getting rid of the 5. Since we're multiplying by a negative, we do need to flip the inequality symbol around. We get x is, e is less than negative 10. Negative 10, negative 9, negative 8, negative 11, negative 12. Open circle over the negative 10 because we have no more equal to, less than, so we're going to go in this direction. Here we're multiplying by a positive 3. It doesn't matter that this is negative. We do not flip this around. We get x is less than negative 12. Negative 12, negative 11, negative 10, negative 13, negative 14. We have an open circle over the negative 12. And we're going to go in this direction for the graph. Next you do. Four more, but these are the plus or minus ones. Pause the video. Right, welcome back. Here we're going to subtract 3 from both sides. Don't get confused here. I'm not multiplying or dividing by a negative. I'm adding a negative 3 or subtracting a positive 3, whichever way you want to look at it. 9 minus 3 is 6, so I get x is less than or equal to 6. There's never any need to flip the inequality when you're working with addition or subtraction. Arrowheads on the end here, spot in the middle for the 6. Close circle because it's an or equal to. 7, 8, 5, 4. Less than means we're going in this direction. Plus 8, plus 8. Because we're having minus 8, we're going to the plus 8. X is greater than or equal to 15. Greater than or equal to. Filled in circle. Middle of the number line is a 15. 16, 17, 14, 13. We have closed circle. We have a greater than or equal to, so we're going in that direction. Here we're going to... Subtract 4 from both sides. Subtract 4 from here, subtract 4 from here, you get x is less than negative 6. So we have negative 6 here, negative 5, negative 4, negative 7, negative 8. Open circle over the negative 6. Be careful not to make it look like it's filled in, like I did. Open circle. And it's a less than, so we're going to go in this direction arrowheads on here, y in the middle. We're going to solve this one by adding 6 to both sides. Does it matter that I'm using y instead of x? No. So we get y is greater than 10. Put a 10 here in the middle. 11, 12, 9, 8. Open circle over the 10. Arrow's going to go in this direction because we're going for the greater than there. And that is our solutions and graphs. See you in class.